Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm from Acute Data Systems, and welcome to the Sage 100 tutorial. In today's topic, we'll be covering how to create something called a user-defined field. So let's say you're in your Sage 100, and you're in your modules, and you're looking at your customers, and you notice that um, you were hoping that there was a piece of information that you would like to know about each customer. Well, let's just throw an example out there. Let's say uh, you were wondering if your customer is a dog friendly place. Well, if we look at these tabs, there are or there is no indication that um, that customer is a dog friendly place or if it allows dogs. Well, you don't have to be afraid because you can always add in something called a UDF or a user defined field. And in order to do so, you want to close out of this. You want to go into your custom office module, go into your main, and go into user defined field and table maintenance. And now you want to choose the module that you're adding in this UDF to. So you want to choose AR since we were talking about our customers. And if it was under our customer maintenance, then we want to choose AR customer master. So you right click on this and you click edit fields. Um, here's where you want to add in that UDF. So I'm going to click on this green uh, add button right there. And let's give it a name. So let's say um, dog friendly. I'm going to hit enter. And then uh, for the source, I'm going to leave it as manual entry. I'm going to leave everything alone. I'm going to click OK. And then here we can see uh, that you can customize the UDF in many different ways, which is really nice. So you can say that it's a Dropbox, a list box, or a checkbox. Well, I'm going to leave it as a checkbox. And if you look at all these other tabs, it's just many other ways that you can customize your UDF. Well, I'm going to leave everything as is, and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK here. And now it asks if I want to uh, make any changes to that AR customer uh, maintenance table. So I'm going to click OK here. And it should take about a minute for everything to update. And now once everything is done updating, you want to close out of this. And we want to go back into our customer maintenance. Now in order to add in that UDF, all you have to do is just right click on there, click on panel settings, and click on customizer. And then now it allows you if you want to create a new customized panel or modify an already existing one. Well, I'm just going to create a new customized panel. Hit OK. And here is where you want to add in that UDF. So you want to click on this icon right here that says Add Field. And what you want to do is you want to just draw in that box for that user defined field. And now you want to choose um, that UDF that you made. So it's right here, the dog friendly one. And we can automatically see that it comes in. What's nice about this is that you can start deleting stuff away if you don't want it there. Or you can even move stuff around. So I can just move this dog friendly down here. And I'm going to leave it right there. And what you want to do is now you want to save it. So you want to click on this icon right here. Click OK. And close out of this. Close out of this as well. And you want to go back into your customer maintenance to see if that is there. And we do see that it is. So let's just say for this customer, it is a dog friendly place. So let's just check mark that. Hit accept. Um, let's go to another customer. Let's say that this customer is a dog friendly place. I'm going to hit accept for them. And you can do that for all your customers or maybe just one. It's just up to you. And that's how you add in a user defined field. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.